They're corporatist, globalist media that are adamantly opposed, adamantly opposed to an economic nationalist agenda like Donald Trump has. They are absolutely dead wrong about what's going on today because we have a team that's just grinding it through on what President Donald Trump promised the American people. All of those promises are going to be uh, implemented. There's a new political order that, that's being formed out of this. I think we, the center core of what we believe, that we're a nation with an economy, not an economy just in some global marketplace with open borders, but we are a nation with a, a culture and a, uh, and a reason for being. And I think that's what unites us. Chen. These are friends of mine. Hi, I am G1. And I am G2. We, we are, are globalists. globalists. We, we do, do not believe in nationalism. nationalism. We, we do, do not, not believe, believe in superpowers. superpowers. Heshi, are these guys the corporatist, globalist media, the creators of fake news? No. We are not media people. We have listened to Bannon speak. He talks about economic nationalism. In my mind it's a form of isolation. Right. We believe in open borders. Bannon is an extreme nationalist. He speaks like the Third Reich. It's like he's preparing the United States for a resignation from the world. Economic nationalism is a powerful phrase. It's got to scare any globalist. And you start implementing it by getting out of trade agreements. And looking forward to creating bilateral agreements. Making America stronger. What country wants that? That's been the problem, America has been viewed as a colonial type superpower exerting its wealth and might, to bring its form of government to regions that do not want it. This economic nationalism will not be accepted by the rest of the world, who wants to trade with a nation that is not willing to see its trading partners as equals, where its citizens achieve a comparable standard of living. I'm against any form of extremism, globalism, nationalism, socialism and communism. None of them really benefits the people, no matter what the ism is, no matter what, there is always an elite group that benefits. What are you talking about? Look at the new middle class in China. A perfect example of the globalist approach. Are you sure? The real money and power in China resides with the party and their cronies. So you are against open borders and free movements? Yes there is no country without its own problems with wealth distribution. So tell me why, should those countries help other countries before they have cleaned up their own mess? Chen, you sound like Bannon. True. I don't like your friends. I know. I could tell.